Hello everybody, Shadow here, and welcome back to I the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Probably for the last time. Because we are in the epilogue. And it's time to talk. First we gotta talk to Mario. I hate how when I buy something online, I get web ads for it. Yeah, that is the worst. <laughs> Raise my pay. Well, isn't it obvious we were able to solve the case because I worked really, really hard. Oh, patting yourself on the back, huh? <laughs> so uncool. Uncool. Not as uncool as your underwear. Ooh, that's that's private. Wow. My underwear has nothing that's to do with That's a low blow. It. And excuse you, my underwear is really cute. I want to see. Peter. Computer, if you're not careful, you're you're gonna wish you were in jail at the end of this game. Oh, grow up. I didn't mean it like that. It's just for my future reference. For your future reference of what? That doesn't help your case. He's gone. Don't let it eat at you forever. There was nothing you could have done. They really killed him off. Just like that. But well, I guess they need <laughs> they didn't want to introduce a fourth AI ball. So they're just like, you know what? Tom is a good fit for Dante. <laughs> okay. Why were you hiding her? You could have just told me in retrospect. Yeah. Right. But there was a reason I couldn't tell you. Sure. If I told you that, I would have to tell you everything. Not to mention, Mizuki is my secret weapon. She's like my personal ninja. Sure. But Ryuki knew about BB, right? Yeah. I didn't want him to find out, but... He saw us. Ah. Mama and I were shopping at the supermarket. I told you not to call me that. Who cares? They already know. <laughs> Mama, huh? Are you jealous, Mizuki? No. That's not it. So BB's got a mom, we've got a dad. <laughs> We're all one big happy family. Um He's an AI ball, just like Iba and Tama. Right. He's shy, so he doesn't talk much. Okay. He opens up to me so Did I just mishear it the first time? He's just introverted. That's fair. what she's doing about now well now let it be oh that we weren't able to completely recover the memory but the days i spent with iba we at least got that oh that data has been re-uploaded and re-implemented we now have memory of that time very good i wanted to ask about my pay this again but well i do have to praise you for a job well done okay so i have a special present for you both a present it was left at a special place you should find it a special place your friends should know what i'm talking about okay i don't know what you're planning but i guess it's not a bad idea to see everyone again well right then, yeah let's get going okay don't worry about me. We've talked a lot over the last week. We stayed up in bed for hours talking. Right. <laughs> okay. Let's go to here. Ramen, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hi, Gen. Hi. Genny. How's it going? You opened back up, huh? Yeah, I can't let this affect me forever. Fair. After you took Amame, Shoma and I stayed with Ryuki at the house. Right. The bomb squad came and started to inspect the thermite bomb, and that's when we got a call. Ryuki was told that the Nirvana Initiative is going to take place at the stadium. Okay. 
From there, he must have made a plan. Right. In order to prevent the spread of TC Purge, we needed to burn it. Okay. So, we grabbed the thermite bomb, punched our way through the bomb squad, <laughs> and headed to the stadium. Oh, come on. The bomb squad didn't do anything wrong. Kenny, you knew that Mame killed Uru, didn't you? Are you going to arrest me for cooperating with a murderer? I can't. It's not a crime just to know. Unless you actively try to protect them. Well... In the end, I couldn't just... protect her. We can uh, ignore that detail. It's frustrating feeling so powerless. Right. And I know not everyone would want to hear this, but I don't even think Amame should have been arrested. Her actions were totally justifiable. But there are laws, Gen. Her father was killed in such a brutal way. But there are laws, Gen. Not to mention Terror was planning a genocide. You know, that is a fair point. But she is a citizen. Not, you know. It's a, com it's a complicated matter, okay? It's a complicated matter. Also, the the actual act of killing uh, Terror did not stop anything about their plan. Uh, in fact, it it potentially just made things more complicated and difficult. What's wrong with killing a person like that? I can't believe she's being punished for it. Oh, uh, she had a message for you. Okay. Horizontal is darkness multiplied by light. I'm sorry, what? I don't understand it, but that's what she told me to tell you. Horizontal is darkness multiplied by light, huh? That's strange. I will continue to wait for Amame. Alright. Until the day she sits in that seat and smiles at me. She would be sad if she came back and the place was all run down. That is fair. So I'm going to work hard to keep this place running. Okay. Let's go to the department store. Shoma. Wait. Um. Did, was this really necessary? One more time in the Ferris wheel? Really? Really? It's okay. You don't have to beat around the bush. I thought long and hard about how to feel about my sister. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't sad. Okay. But I can't be down forever. Fair. I mean, we are going up. I'm sure you know already, but she's at the detention center. Yeah. I've gone to see her every day. With Genny. But we can't really talk much. She's always crying. Yeah. Fair. But her lawyer said that due to the circumstances, her sentence might not be too oh, long. Oh, very nice. The person that Amame killed was trying to brainwash all of mankind. Right. Some people even think she's a hero. Um... I think about it a lot. Six years ago, my dad took Jin's body from the amusement park. Right. If only I had noticed back then. Well, you can't blame yourself. Maybe none of this would have happened. Have you heard of the multiverse theory? Yes. There are multiple universes, so that means there's a universe that's just like ours, but with a slightly different history. Right. That's the idea. If that were true, maybe Dad is out there somewhere, in another universe. Well, if that is what makes you happy. Yeah, that's what I think. Andy's Kumeji lives on happily somewhere. Yeah, and I think And in you're our right. hearts. With all of his terrible, terrible jokes. Oh, the number code? I know how to solve it. First, change the letters to numbers. Okay. A is one, B is two, C is three, and so on. Using that cipher. From there, solve it the same way as the BATS 490 code. Okay. Zigzag from the top left and go from top to bottom. Oh. Oh. It's the same as before. Post and rain dig. Hora ints undig. The puzzle of the pieces of paper in the balloons was solved in a similar manner. Right. Three five six seven seven eight one three nine seven one four five. What does that mean? The numbers start with thirty five and one thirty nine, right? Which means they're probably coordinates in Tokyo. Right. So in other words, north thirty five point six seven seven eight 
East 139.7145. That's the answer. Those coordinates point to... The stadium. The stadium? So the Nirvana X code is... On February 15th, 12 o'clock. Right. Come to the stadium. That was the message. Yep, that's right. I was trivia. The reason I couldn't solve this puzzle a week ago is because my memory from six years ago, the piece of paper in the balloon, was forgotten. Had I remembered, that is a fair point. Boss? No, I haven't. Hmm. Okay. All right. If you say so. Anyway, I'm going to continue to live my life with Big Sis. I'm going to work hard to become a robot developer. Very nice. And I'll continue to support her. Until the day someone else who can comes along. All right. I'm rooting for you. Good luck. Okay. Let's go to... Sunfish pocket. Why not? Who's going to be here? Oh! Ota and Kagami? Look, Mizuki. Oh, and the driver! I finally have an Orichalcum trident! Very nice! Thanks for your business! Oh, right. <laughs> you own this place. <laughs> you could have literally just asked. Thanks, chum! <sighs> Don't you do like a friend discount? <laughs> nope. That's not fair, Mizuki. <laughs> I always give you free food at the Matsushita Diner, don't I? Yeah, free pickles. Cheapskate. <laughs> Ouch. The Maid Cafe Sunfish Pocket was originally run by Mizuki's adoptive father, uh, Renju Okiura. Due to certain events six years ago, Mizuki has taken over. And it seems to be doing just fine. Wow, you surprised me. Mizuki, what are you doing here? I own the place. Really? What are you doing here? Well, uh, um, I wanted to investigate the day-to-day -day lives of young women. Right. As an inspector? I need to know what's in. It's an important part of being an inspector. Sure. I feel like I said this before. Yes, you have. Oh, you don't have to say it. His name is Kagami. No, wait. Do my ears deceive me? That's right! My name is Kagami! <laughs> but I think there are only like two people in the whole world who let me do this routine. It makes me kind of sad. What? What are you talking about? Wait. Wait, you want to do the bit? Hey, stop it! It's rude to ask someone their name so many times! Encantado de conocerte. I'm sorry, what? Me llamo Kagami. Oh! Me gustan las tetas grandes. All right, it's time to murder someone. Okay. I need to change that soon. We've been using the same picture for a while to cut costs. Right. Hmm, you don't recognize moi? Right. I recognize you very well. Okay. You're the lady from Lemnus. Yes, that is us. Me? <laughs> I am but a humble taxi driver. Right. I visit there often to escort the talent. Fair. I am a customer. The old hag at Matsushita Diner told me about this place. Okay. Hey, that's my mom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, is that right? Mm. The old hag recently concluded a job interview here. Stop calling her an old hag. Also, a job interview here? Hold up. Job interview? Indeed. As a mermaid? That would be the case. Mom. <laughs> oh, just like, oh no. If that happens, I I could never come here again. Oh, that perky mermaid tushy. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. It's chaos in here. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just a taxi driver. Not a taxi driver or the taxi driver, just taxi driver. This might make you kind of angry, but I think Mame is a hero. Okay. Think about it. Uru, 
the culprit of the HB case brutally killed three people. Right. Not to mention he tried to brainwash all of mankind. Fair. And Ma may punish that evildoer. Right. I can't condemn her for that. But... We live in a society, and as such, there are laws. And as such, if you do not stick to those laws, um, you have to get punished. Even if uh, the world thinks you are justified. I mean, like, like, regardless. <laughs> so, yeah. What is it, Mizuki? Unfortunately. Well, I don't mean to defend what Uru did, but he was held captive underground since the age of six. They took half his organs from him forcibly. Right. When you take that into account, perhaps Chikara was the worst person. Right. Here's the way I see it. Evil is created from a greater evil. Right. It is our mission to destroy the root of all evil. Doesn't look like our mission's gonna end anytime soon. Uh, sounds like it. I really clicked on the chair and not Ota. It's because Ota's freaking moving. It's a long story, so I'll cut right to it. So there we were. The five of us in the truck heading to the stadium. Okay. Ota, Iris, Kizzy, Moma, and Leon, right? Right. And we saw those three being held up by the riot police. Ah. Or I guess those four. With the robot. Ryuki, Genny, Shoma, and Roboji. Right. They said they were headed to the stadium too, so we let them hop in the back. Okay. Then we drove right through the barricade and saved the day. We could have used their, you there like 30 minutes before, but sure. Yeah, she gave me a message for you. Female is 6.607. I, I really hope that you're remembering this. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but there it is. What could that mean? It'll probably make all of the sense once we get for now. all of the clues. We got the info, so let's go somewhere else. Right. Yeah, good idea. Okay, I guess it makes sense that, uh, now that I think about the list of options, the diner is not available, so it's like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, let's go to the, let's go visit Iris. Let's do it. Dot, I'm sorry, Date? Date. <laughs> Date. Date. <laughs> hmm? What is it? Oh, nothing. <laughs> uh, Hitomi is Iris's mother, as well as Mizuki's elementary school teacher. And Date is Mizuki's ad and Date is Mizuki's adoptive father. Hitomi and Date are hitting on each other right now in front of Mizuki. How to describe what she's going through? Disgusting? Unbearable? Nothing she can do, I guess. Meow. Meow, meow. Iba, permission to shoot. Permission granted. Granted. If that were the case, I wouldn't be here, meow. You know the Nirvana trial code? Right. Everyone who solved it is being quarantined right now. Okay. A vaccine has been developed. Quarantining procedures should adequately solve the problem. <laughs> right. Totally. It's totally gonna work. Because humans aren't stupid at all. Any damaged neurons in the brain should be repairable with nanomachines. Oh. However, such a treatment is not simple or easy. Right. If the rocket had launched, the country's health infrastructure would have collapsed and caused complete chaos. Right. Anyway, it's one big happy ending. Yeah. Except for the fact that Ryuki died. Please, don't talk about him. Please. Hi. Well, Dati's been like this all week. 
I see. Okay. I was eating at Matsushita Diner. All right. Out of nowhere, Ota rushed in and said, We're going to save humanity! Fair. And well, I thought that sounded kind of fun. Fun. Right. Oh, um, yeah. Vertical is male multiplied by female. I really hope they give me all of these clues together. I don't know what that means. After I get all of them. But that's what she said. Vertical is male multiplied by female? Sounds meow and right erotic. Is that the only thing you think about? Okay. <clears throat> well... I think we're interrupting something here. Absolutely. You're not interrupting anything. No, we definitely are. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let's go, BB. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, let's just move on. All right, who we find in here? Oh, hi. So how have you two been? Oh, Mizuki. Quartz. How are you? Can you not call me that? Ah, oh, come on. You used to like that name. Ah, <laughs> uh, that. Right. I contacted Leon. I thought he could help. I see. And Kizuno was listening in on the conversation. So... Yes. I asked if there was any way I could help. Right. We will put an end to Terra's plan. I could not simply stay put there. Considering the circumstances, it makes sense that Leon wouldn't decline. I just realized, in between this episode and the last one, I didn't even bother to say anything to uh, Pyre, my best friend, who I have been updating periodically about my progress through the game. I didn't say anything about freaking keys now with a machine with a <laughs> with a gatling gun <laughs> oops thwarting terror's plan i am sure he wanted keys in a present to witness his heroism right i started to think of a plan i wanted to take kizzy there but she had to be safe no matter what right and that's when i remember the armored vehicle i knew it was at the kumakuras i see so i called moma and asked if i could borrow it Moma said, Sounds, Sounds like, like fun. fun. How about I tag along? And as for who's driving, I know a guy. <laughs> so that's that how Ota, Ota got involved. I see. I only stole from people who made dirty money. Or else Quartz wouldn't approve. And Quartz oh. would donate her share to orphanages all over the country. Very nice. So you were like bandits of justice. How amazing. That might be overstating it. Huh? Why do you ask? I'm just curious. Late that night, I went to the basement of Horadori Institute. Okay. With Quartz. But there was nothing there. It was just an empty space. The slicer was hidden under the floor, and there was no door going to Uru's room. There might have been a way in, but we didn't have time to look. Yeah. Right after we got down there, we heard footsteps. We ran out of Horadori Institute after getting up the stairs. Okay. <laughs> I love this. About the Gatling gun. We canceled. Why? My father... Accepted our relationship. Very nice. Seriously? You know how the press began to report on our deeds at the stadium? We agreed to some interviews. And that's where we just came out and said it. Kizzy and I are together. Very nice, using the press to turn him around. And so, my father can no longer deny our relationship. Right. The two of them were partially responsible for saving humanity. Right. There's no way he could force them to break up now. I'm happy for you. Congrats, you two. Yeah, thanks to you both. I am very grateful. About the Gatling gun. Oh, what I was shooting at the stadium? It was loaded with rubber bullets. I could never intentionally kill someone. Right. You can just sit in a in the back of an armored vehicle as they run people over. You're so nice, Gizzy. <laughs> you shouted, and I quote, 
motherfuckers <laughs> as you gunned down people with rubber bullets. I don't think that's very nice. <laughs> yes, I did hear something. Okay. She wanted me to tell you. Got it. Light is 25.5. All right. Hmm. Again, you better be writing this down, Iba. Well, we need to get going now. See you later. Goodbye, little big sis and big big sis. You're gonna stick with that, huh? Okay. <laughs> we got three left. Um, let's go to the uh, mom, mom, Kamakura office. Kumakura. I can never say it right on the first try. I'm sorry, what? Why are you here? Oh, it's you guys. Would you take that off before we choke you to death with it? What's up with your voice? It's a vochlojo. Vochocho? It stands for Voice Changing Lock Choker. I borrowed it from MoMA six years ago, but I don't use it anymore, so I returned it. Awful honorable of you. Never thought I'd get it back. No, seriously, can you please turn that off? Eh, no reason. Just fucking around with it. He was saying, MoMA, I love you. Marry me. Gag. Jinpei, get your knife ready. You're cutting off your finger. N no. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why would I do that? Just look at BB. Her outfit is in shambles. They want to buy her new clothes. Please. Leave me alone. I like my clothes. Fair. <laughs> but, but you could look real awesome. I mean, you look awesome now, but you could look even more awesome. What is this? That made me cry. Beautiful sisterly love. Hey, you guys are all right. Take that ball the dragon is holding. It's solid gold. Really? Uh, I can't take that. Don't worry about it. Quartz made me a hell of a lot of cash back in the day. Stop calling me that. Hey, Mizuki, did you just take the ball? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, that boss lady sent word. She told me you two'd be coming. She said to tell you this. Darkness is 5.479. I have no idea what it means. Fair. <clears throat> Hold on. No, no. We need to talk to the other two. Hold on. No. No, 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 no. Ritsu, it's time for the. No 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 no. Roger that. The usual. No 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 no. Ritsu is probably the receptionist. Her name is Ritsuko. No 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 no. No 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 no. Can you got it? Like this? Now hold still. Okay. Ritsu, come on. Hiya. Moma, are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Okay, here we go. What is happening? Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> the smooth sensation. I'm addicted to this feeling. The voice is the only thing salvaging this from being the most perverted thing I have ever seen. No, uh, I yeah, think the voice yeah. makes it worse. All right, hold on. Let's go, BB. Please, let's. No, 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 no. Wow. What? Nope, don't stop it. All right, well, <laughs> give me a second. I gotta go back so I can see what the rest of them say. As Thankfully, kid. my kid's doing good. My marriage was annulled and I don't have custody, but every birthday I get a few pictures sent to me. Oh. Nowadays, seeing those pictures is what keeps me working hard every day. Okay. <laughs> don't make me cry, idiot. Yeah, six years ago, I shot my gun at Sunfish Pocket. Right. I was in prison for a little bit, but I served my sentence. 
Now I'm out. What about your directing job? I can't go back to that. It's not easy for a convicted felon to get a job. So I came back here and begged for another shot. Mm-hmm. I see. Oh, are you talking about Dokta? He contracted DC Perch. He's being quarantined in the hospital right now. Okay. I hear they were able to get rid of the virus, but it's gonna be some time until he gets his head back in line. Fair. I was checking some job hunting websites and I saw this place. So now I work here Fridays. Oh, oh <laughs> don't worry. I'm still working at Lemniscate, but they won't make me full time ever. Isn't that right, Miss President? Oh, sorry. I don't handle the personnel stuff. All right. Um, making tea, answering the phone, slicking up the gats. So old school. Did I hear something about oil and guns? She's also in charge of puff puffing. What? What is that? Okay, so that's okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that boss lady sent word. I will. Let's fast forward through all of this again. All right, now let's. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, you know that's fair. All right, let me fix this. All right, we have fixed our uh, mistake. So we have two more places to go. Let's go to Marble first. Why not? Oh hey. Oh, right. Right, your whole organization so you two are is... sisters, huh? Yes. It makes sense and all, but boy, is it ever surprising. Right. The only people who know about the cloning are members of Abyss. To others, okay, they're both are just sisters. Fair enough. Mamoru. Why, who are you guys? You know me? Weren't you Tokiko's secretary and bodyguard? Right. Yeah, I was. And then this happened and I got fired. The information Ryuki got in his investigation has already been transmitted. We know about Bodai, what he was, what he was doing and where. The Subversive Activities Prevention Act shut my down for good. Which gives me more time for day drinking. Right. Shut up. You don't get to say if I'm drunk enough or not. I'm a heavyweight. Leave me alone. You're a lightweight emotionally. Absolutely. What? What did you say? See? Hey, Mamoru, honey. Maybe you're right. My heart can't take it. I drink so I don't have to face reality sober. Dang. I saw the president's body. That image is burned into my mind. I can't unsee it. How pathetic is that? It's okay, Mamoru. Everyone has a weakness. Right. I think humans are one of the weakest animals. We aren't covered in thick fur. We don't have hides. We can't take heat. We can't take cold. Even the littlest tree branch can scratch us and make us bleed. Right. Really? We're the only animals like that. How did we even make it this far as a species? I think it's because we're weak. Our weakness forced us to work together. Right. We made tools, hunted, and fought in packs. That's how we survived. Yeah. If humans were strong independently, things would have been different. Okay. We might not have made it. We could have gone extinct like Neanderthals. So you're saying our weakness is central to who we are? Right. Our weaknesses mean that we have to support each other and put aside our differences. Yeah, that's why I'll never tolerate people who oppress others. Yeah! Humanity is rooted in weakness. To deny that is like denying humanity as a whole. Right. But the sad thing is there are so many people who do. Yeah. And it ends up hurting others. LGBTQ plus people. Yup. People with disabilities. Yep. People persecuted because of their race or religion. If I had wings, I'd fly around the whole world, give all those people a hug, and tell them it's gonna be okay. Right. And then grab my <laughs> I knew it. and beat the crap out of those bastards who tormented them. Yup. I'll defend and protect minorities everywhere. I'm not gonna let any kind of backwards thinking, macho, prejudicial bullshit slide. <laughs> Mizuki, I love you. I love it. Let me give you eight million yen. 
Don't worry, I got a golden ball. Come on, uh, more more boobs. I think you mean booze? No, I meant to say more booze. He seems to be getting extremely emotional. Right. Not that you could tell by the way he looks. All right, Mama, how's it going? You solved the case already, but you're still hungry for more, hmm? Right. Well, I do have some very valuable information. Okay. Six years ago, on February 15th, Uru contacted So Sejima, the former politician. Correct. Why do you suppose he did that? Because So was his father, an illegitimate love child. She took the baby to Iowan and committed suicide. Oh. Well, it's just a rumor. There's no proof. I see. But that would explain a lot, wouldn't it? Okay. I'm guessing Uru wanted to meet him. The man who threw him and his mother away like garbage. Interesting. That was where his tragedy began, after all. If so hadn't neglected them, Uru never would have been given up for adoption. Right. I don't know. He's not at his manor. Okay. He disappeared about two weeks ago. Sounds about right. Maybe he fled the country. Would not be surprised. Fled the country? Why? He's a cunning old man. I'm sure he sensed something coming. He must have thought the authorities would eventually connect him to terror. It's possible. So, he decided to leave before it was too late. Okay. You're already drinking a cream soda. No, not this drink. No alcohol for you. You're only 18. I'm good then, right? I'm 24. Nope. I know you came here on your motorbike. Have some Alfre instead. <laughs> a can of Alfre, not even poured into a glass. Just the can with no glass, Mama. A bit lazy. You heat up some anchovies and garlic and some olive oil, and that's banya coda, not bar counter. Ah, oh, that takes me back. Okay. Boss, as in your boss? Yes. I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Boss left us a present somewhere, but we don't know where it is. She said something about asking our friends. I see. Then why don't I ask the mighty Milky Balls? Okay. Yeah, good idea. Okay then, Milky White Orbs of Power. Who among their friends and acquaintances has the biggest you-know-what? That is, Lynn, of course. Okay. Who cares? That's what I thought. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Oh we'll no. Put that aside for now. <laughs> oh no. Can we put it aside forever? Okay. Yeah. Time to get serious now. Oh balls, the great and powerful. Please find something for me. Where is the present that boss has hidden? Go to Nyes. The hidden secret can be found there. Okay. So, how about it? Go to Nyes. The secret is there? That has nothing to do with Boss's task. I am sure Mama is only stringing together random thoughts. But... Um... I'm not sure if I agree. I think that's where it actually is. Mama, we're gonna get going. Already? I wanted to talk more about Lian's you-know-what. We'll save that for some other time. Oh, sure thing. Come back again whenever. I'll be waiting. All right. Well, who are we going to meet here? Who's left? Just the two of you. <laughs> Why did I leave this for last? Mr. Chieda, nice to see you. Oh, Mizuki Kuranushi. Please don't call me that. I'm supposed to be called Big Sis. It would be a little strange to call you that. That's fair. Do you remember me too? Of course I do. You were only three when the Okiura family took you in. I never thought that girl was really you. Both of you have grown so much. Right. You two used to cry and cry. <laughs> now you're both police officers. 
I'm proud that you've grown up to be such good people. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah. I wonder. I kind of just wanted to be here. You just want to feel included? I get you. Screw it. This is my last chance. I want some more screen time. <laughs> what are you talking about? Mom. Mom, are you watching? Look at me. Maybe she's contracted TC Purge. We should let the authorities know. That's incredible. <laughs> um. Yes, that was me. Okay. I didn't have proof, but I suspected that they were doing morally questionable research there, and that you two were subject to it. I wasn't ignoring the signs. I only noticed it a few years after you two came here. They acted on it right away, and went straight to the police. They told me they couldn't do anything without proof, so I leaked the information to the press, which led to the Institute being closed. Okay. I did it for the two of you. Oh, well, thank you. But didn't you help it reopen? I'm having trouble following your logic. Right. Yes, that. I spoke to your cohort, Ryuki, about this. Human experimentation is intolerable, but the other research being done at Horidori Institute was extremely valuable okay. and had a bright future. There were many hardworking people there that had nothing to do with what was happening behind the scenes. And at that point, the two of you were no longer affiliated with Horidori Institute. Which is why I provided the money for the reopening. Okay. I did it so I could keep an eye on them and prevent them from continuing their illicit research. You didn't do a great job. You don't know? It's called purge. DNA treatment. This is not the same as TC purge, of course. Right. TC purge was a virus that was created using purge technology. Okay. Even now, I don't think financing Horidori Institute was a mistake. They were able to create the technology for Purge. That technology can save countless lives, including yours. What? Last year, we developed a revolutionary genome editing method we call Purge. With this, genetic diseases that were previously too difficult to treat. For example, severe congenital heart diseases are now cured. Okay. Baby, that's great news. Your illness can be cured. Oh. Good. What is it? Well, um, it's just so much to process. Fair. <laughs> I'm happy for you, BB. Yeah. Mr. Chieda, thank you. I was trivia. Such a complex story. TC Purge was created using Purge technology. If Ricci uh, didn't invest in a Horidori Institute, it would never have happened. At the same time, Mizuki. Uh, Karnashi's heart condition wouldn't have been treated. The technology itself is neither good or evil. It's dependent on the person who uses it. I guess I can, com I can comment on moral issues every now and then. Fair. You were both bundles of energy, I'll tell you that much. You ripped the swing right off its chains. Oh my! And Mizuki, you tore the pipes off the jungle gym and played Cat's Cradle with them. Whenever you did something bad, myself and the other staff scolded you. Right. You would both that makes cry sense. and literally run through walls. Oh dear. I'm sure you can still see the damage in some of them. But whatever you did, no one was upset with you. After you cried, you would both have such bright smiles it made everyone else smile too. Well, that's <laughs> nice. Sounds like us. Yes, I remember them well. Your smiles haven't changed a bit. Please. Don't ask me about that. I've already told Kizuna everything. I guess he doesn't want to talk about their relationship. Right. Guess not. Your adoptive mother. She gave me a message. Male is 5.4. Okay. So... Are we going to go over these clues now? Mr. Chieda, we're going to get going now. Come back again soon. And please continue to keep an eye on Kizuna. We will. Yeah, of course. All right. Nice Japan branch. Oh, ow. Okay. It's still bothering me. I know what you're thinking. What Mama said, right? 
Go to Nyes. The hidden secret can be found there. But what's the last secret? I guess the only thing left is Tokiko. Why did she kill herself? Why did she order Amame to do hey, those things? Hey, we know. There's a hologram. Take... Oh. And taking her own body. Taking to the left. Okay. The president's office, too. Yeah. We have no idea. Why did Tokiko do all that? A hologram. It is Tokiko's hologram. This was among the data that was sent to me by Tama. Welcome. I apologize, but I am currently unavailable. If you do not mind, if it's no trouble, would you guide me to Moksha? What? I will tell you a number. It is a crucial figure that can create a seam in this false world. Okay. It is called the Nil oh, here number. Oh, okay. There, here it is. Here it is. Hold on. Are Wait. you prepared? Please take Okay, I got you. I got you. Oh no, you're gonna. Oh no. All right, I got it. I got it. Oh, I was worried because I was like, "Is it gonna appear and then disappear?" But no, it it just showed up in the dialogue prompt too. And now, I will look forward to the day we meet again. But I am not talking about them. Ryuki? No. Not Ryuki, either. No, you're talking about me. You're talking about me! But you. Yes. Me. The one listening to me now. Yes. Yes. The Freyer. You. Hi! <laughs> it's me, the Freyer! <laughs> I'm gonna destroy now. reality! All right. Well. Okay. <laughs> Bye, hologram. Well, it's just at the stadium. The stadium? What are we doing here? It's a very good question. What? You mean you don't get it, BB? Boss's present is probably here. Why do you think that? Remember what Iris said? Vertical, Vertical is male, male multiplied, multiplied by female. female. Now insert the numbers that Mr. Chieda and Ota gave us. Right. Male, male is 5.4. 5. 5. Female is 6.607. 6. 5.4 times 6.607 equals 35.6778. Right. That's the vertical coordinate. The horizontal. Horizontal is darkness multiplied by light. Darkness is 5.479. Right. Light is 25.5. 5. 5.479 times 25.5 equals 139.7145. Right. Okay. Those numbers, 35.6778 and 139.7145. Don't they sound familiar? Oh, yeah. North 35.6778, east 139.7145. Right. I see. The vertical and horizontal were referring to coordinates. Which is here. The present must be here somewhere in the stadium. All right, we should back off the circle because it's going to open and it's going to reveal but... everybody else. Oh, hi. We got a present. We got a present for you. It looks pretty big. It is somewhat unnerving. It's a little suspicious. Not something that would make a kid cheer with joy. Anyway. Why don't you open it? Okay. It's scary. <laughs> it's fine. It will not explode. Are you sure? This is boss we're talking about. Right. Well, I suppose I can't be sure. I know. X-ray. Ah! 
Pei's alive! Took you long enough. I was suffocating in there. Ryuki. Ryuki? Ryuki! And I'm here too. Tama. Your body. You're healed? I'm perfectly fine. Eh, not perfect. His wounds still haven't healed. Okay. But I feel no pain at all. Sure. Because I got you hopped up on painkillers. You need to go back to the hospital. Absolutely. It's fine. It's not fine. I had to do it. Boss gave me a call. Hey, Ryuki. I hear you can walk now. I have a favor to ask you. I want to set up a little surprise for those two. And this is nice. Know, I'm demoting you. <laughs> Good luck. Ouch. So, yeah. Okay. How mean. She's but the sweet. devil. But... But... I'm glad you're okay, Ryuki. You seem to be doing well. Yes. Congratulations, Ryuki. Thank you. I'm sorry we made you worry. <laughs> you two are like... A married couple. <laughs> well... You can't be serious! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everyone! Listen up! Oh, hi! Where were you all? Here we go. It's time. Here we go. It's time. Let's celebrate Ryuki's full recovery. I mean, he's not fully recovered yet. We literally just heard that his wounds haven't healed. It's not a full recovery. Anyway, we have a special dance for you. Please watch us. I am ready for this. I was spoiled for this because I accidentally clicked on the um, the soundtrack on Steam. So I know I knew that this was coming. I mean, it's not much of a surprise considering how the last game ended, but. Start the music. <laughs> oh my sweet princess, where can I find you? How do I remind you of the dream you share? Enough of that nonsense, drop all the pretense. You've got to break the chain of faith on your own. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> We've done it. <sighs> All right, second verse. Such a nonsense verse. Worlds apart, I come for you, love. Take the glass slipper, be my princess. This would be the final move to checkmate my heart. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe, not maybe. <laughs> this is 
so nice. I'm very happy. Suppose I'll put aside my duty. Good. Now it's time to kick your booty. Now that is how you earn a suspension. So what? I'm here for the attention. It's true that we can get ourselves boyfriends. Because you're human weapons and they can't contend. We do look really cute when we're kicking some ass. <laughs> Talk about thoughts of the game afterwards. Super good. That was super good. song and Amame song have been unlocked in the bonus menu. Okay. Unlocked Ibali function. Wait time for questions now zero seconds. In picture book, play with Ibali's that you met in the past function. Give answers to the questions from now on too. Okay. Oh. <sighs> That, that was incredible. That was incredible. I want to load into this to get Thanks, the flowchart. Yeah. Okay, let's skip this. Can I get to the flowchart from this? Yes, I can. Good. Okay. <laughs> I... I am incredibly satisfied. That was about everything that I ever wanted this game to be. Um, it was a very, very good plot. I, I loved, 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 loved the twist of the not telling us everything in chronolo chronological order. I'm curious as to what happens in if we go back because I feel like in, in some of the scenes, in some of these scenes, I swear, they kind of, I feel like they twisted some things to trick us. Um, in that, like, there were just little tiny lines of, like, mentioning the six-year difference part. And I, I might just be, I might just be only remembering, like... Jin's body, or Jin, you know, the discovering the one on the football field, the, the stadium, you know, um, but I could have sworn there were, there were a couple moments like that elsewhere where like we found other people's bodies, you know, we found one half 
with one person and then found the other half with somebody else. And then the, it mentioned six. I might be misremembering that, though. I might be misremembering. Um, and it's entirely possible. But regardless, I really, really enjoyed it. I loved the twist. Um, very, very good moments. All of the new characters, fantastic. Um, honestly, I don't think, I don't think there was a bad Somnium in this game. I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily think there was a bad Somnium in any, in the other game. Um, but I think I realized it when I, I think I was doing, I don't know if I was doing Mames or if I was doing, um, somebody else's. But during one of these Somniums, I thought, wow, in most of these, it feels pretty, like, it doesn't feel like we're moving around a lot. Like, we still have a decent amount, we still had a decent amount of space in all of the Somniums. But it felt like it, it did more with less space, if that makes sense. In some of the other ones, uh, in, in, the, in the previous game, some of the Somniums had a problem of just being a bit too big um, and just feeling like a chore to get around. Like, like one, one distinct one that I remember is the Somnium that took place inside of the abandoned warehouse. Um, and it was like just, it was just a process to get through that. Um, and it was just a pain. It, like, it, it still was a good Somnium in that it had, because it, it was in, it was a very impactful Somnium, um, with, like, what it revealed and stuff, but just the process meant that if you had to redo anything because you weren't efficient with your time or something, you had to do this whole process all over again, and it was, it was super annoying and time-consuming. Um, so like some, some of the old, some of the first games had that, had that problem, but I don't really feel like any of the, these ones had it there. I think the only thing, the only thing that I can really complain about was like, um, let's see, where was it in, I can't even remember who Somnium was at this point. Um, I think, it, I think it was this one uh where there was like a 50 50 choice or like maybe two or three two or three 50 50 choices back to back and each one um you know removed a retry so it could be a little bit unforgiving at times uh i mean you didn't lose too terrible much progress um but still that's probably really the only complaint and it's not even really a big one so yeah. yeah, I just really loved it. I just really loved it a lot. Um, I don't know exactly how much time we have, but, but <laughs> uh, I know that this episode is long because it is. However, we still have one thing to do. I believe it's here. Yes, she mentions Freyr. Hi, everyone. This is a weird cut-in because um, I went to go do stuff in the last episode. Um, the I, I went to go put in the nil number. I found out it took a little bit longer than I thought. So we're uh, cutting that into its own episode. And now we're ending this episode right here right now. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please go ahead and give me a like and uh, maybe comment down in the in the comments below, obviously, uh, what you thought of this episode or the series as a whole. Because, yeah, that's, I mean, this is where it ended. So, yeah. Um, and if you want to watch other things, uh, you know, I got one I guess bonus episode technically coming out and then 
we'll be moving on to the other stuff. I'll be getting back to Persona 4 Golden, if any, if that floats your boat, you know. And, yeah, that's about it, though. So, thank you for joining me on this wonderful, wonderful journey. And I will see all of you at another time, in another place. Bye bye